come for a very short session on the Dorset Stour to try a different area to the ones I normally fish. The river's in good trim and I'm going to fish with liquidised bread and bread punch on a 16 with an Avon taking about 3 grams which you can see here. I've got a disgorger handy. I'm just feeding a small ball of liquidised bread every couple of swims down and this swim the flow varies from fast to further out to quite slow close in. I've tried another swim already and had quite a few days on maggots on a stick float but I've switched to this bigger float and punch. The first couple of fish, this is the first one, a fairly small dace but I'm expecting some roach. I've got a hunch there's some uh, quite decent roach in this spot. It's a question of exploring the, sw the swim quite carefully, getting the depth right, getting the float to go down just how I want it, slowing it down a bit. Fished it a few days before and uh, holding back the float, just easing it through dead right. The bigger roach definitely yeah, like that and the bites develop quite slowly. There's that second dace. The actual session wasn't very long. In this swim, probably fished less than an hour and a half. And when I packed up, I was still catching fish. So it might well have had a few more. It takes a little while for that uh, liquidized bread to filter down to where the roach are. Throwing it a fair way upstream floats and then it sinks down just forms a nice trail of breadcrumbs down on the riverbed and that's the first roach of the day and it's a tiddler Wasn't quite happy with the trim of the float, we just add in another shot here. Just going to go a couple of inches deeper, just try and get that perfect depth. This feels a lot better. That's the sort of fish I've come for. Not a monster, but a solid, genuine pounder.
How about that for a nice prime winter roach? Off for a couple of tiddlies into another decent fish. Try and keep the fish down when I'm playing them until they're ready for netting. Don't want them splashing on the top in the middle of the swim. Not so big as that last decent one, but over half a pound. Worth a landing net. The wind was quite blustery. It's got up a bit at this point, blowing down the river, but the way the current is and uh, fishing the way I am, it's easy to keep tight control of the float without any real problems. Probably should net ones like that around about five or six ounces. Another good netter. A very nice fish indeed. Bit of a cormorant mark on him. Just slip it back. The weather was certainly variable, the, uh, the sun was popping in and out. One of the many small Dyson roach that I had in this uh, fairly short session. This feels a bit weightier. I've pretty much run out of time at this point.
There's a nice fish to finish up with. Again over a pound, just slipping back. Until next time, goodbye for now.